like that, you'll get some footage. The farmers are struggling in this area. And that you can see by the decline in the ostrich amount of people in the industry as well as the amount that's been slaughtered during each year. There's been a nosedive in, in those quantities. Normally we were slaughtering about 240,000. This year I don't think we'll slaughter 120,000. So it's 50% off from the normal average. Um, and it's about 30% down from last year. To be an ostrich farmer today is a, it's a big challenge. It's low profit margins. Uh, we are facing the worst, or we're dealing with the worst drought, as I said, in 300 years. So there's no food, there's no water. The two big dams, Stomdrift and Kamanasi, is like 3%, 4% of water. So uh, some of our fields, we irrigated in November 2017, it's a long time ago. And it's such a wonder that we still have lucerne plants left because you can see when you drive through the fields that a lot of these lucerne died in these, these, these circumstances that we're facing now. I'm farming 27 years now and uh, we never experienced what, what's happening now. I mean, we were all full of belief that we're going to have lovely rain in November, December, January as well. We still have about a month left for thunderstorms. Then we start entering more the, the winter, the cooler season, which is not known for thunderstorms. And we need basically a big flood now, you know, to fill the dams, to fill the rivers and to get our fields irrigated, that we can farm under normal conditions again. We farm in a um, desert area, the Klein Karoo, which is also one of the major ostrich production areas of South Africa and in the world, of course. So low rainfall, but during the past uh, five years, the rainfall has been very erratic and very low. So all our dams feeding the irrigation schemes along the river has dried up and uh, the farmers haven't been able to produce feed or fodder for the ostriches. So our challenge now is that um, it's expensive to buy and feed from outlying areas, from uh, the irrigation schemes up north, um, and to feed the ostriches. I 
Because they are being fed um, a balanced ration made up of uh, plant-based um, raw materials like lucerne and maize and then a, bit, a little bit of soya. Um, and that's why they're keeping the conditions quite well. What's, what is really happening is that the farmers are um, only being able to feed them for a shorter period and not necessarily 12 months baby, but less uh, 10 months and then they will also be processed after 10 month age um, and not the usually a little bit older age. But yes, the birds aren't suffering. The birds are being looked uh, well very after because um, we are in the export industry and you need to maintain good animal welfare and also a good uh, protection of the environment because um, we're also custodians of the environment.